my associate will be teaching on Leonardo da Vinci today. Alrighty, let's get to it! What we're looking at here is a painting by Leonardo da Vinci, who really is one of the greatest painters of all time, I must say. Not only was he one of the greatest painters, but he was a sculptor as well in the workshop of Andrea del Verrocchio. Don't forget he was also an inventor and experimenter. One of the tools he used to record his investigations and discoveries was drawing, which as we can see has gotten him pretty far in places, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Oh, oh my, that was quite the knee slapper! But back to business now! Although there are not many complete works left, Leonardo left a large body of drawings, almost 2,500, that record his ideas. Most are gathered into books now. But that's enough about Leonardo da Vinci now. Let's dive into this beautiful piece of artwork we have before us. This is Leonardo's Last Supper, or how my people like to call it, La Ultima Cena de Jesus con sus Apostoles. Whoa, 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 is that really how they say it? <laughs> no, but it was painted in 1495 to 1498. You are such a trickster! <laughs> but all jokes aside, did you know that the Last Supper is located at the end of the wall of the refractory of Santa Maria del Grassi? How would your people say that? That is how my people say that. <laughs> It is one of the most renowned paintings of the High Renaissance and was recently restored. This was because the painting had already begun to flake during the artist's lifetime due to his failed attempt to paint on the walls in layers. So what you're saying is that he was almost a pioneer of sorts because he was attempting to move away from the true fresco technique. Yeah, I guess you can say that. Let's talk about the expression on the disciples' faces. They do seem a little surprised, don't they? As though they've received some sort of good news, or like, not good news, astonishing news, actually. You're absolutely right. That's exactly what happened. In this scene, the disciples have just learned from Jesus that one of them will betray him. Oh, Lord. Talk about an awkward situation. I would not want to be there. Hey, who's that shifty-looking fellow in the front that seems to have a little more shadow on his face? It looks like he didn't shave. Oh, that guy? Ooh, girl, don't get me started with him. That's the busy that sold our Lord. Well, despite the chaos and tension on the faces of Christ's followers, there still seems to be a sense of collectiveness and order in this painting. How would you describe it? Well, for starters, the disciples are sitting in four different groups of three, uh, Christ being the center of them all. Oh, so he's more of what you would call the vanishing point, correct? Yeah, correct. Yeah, it seems like we could almost walk to the very back of the room and look out the window. Yeah, I can see it now, looking out that window. Look at that beautiful scenery, hanging out with the disciples, drinking wine, and eating food. Well, I don't know if I want to hang out with the disciples. They don't look too happy right now. Or drink wine, for that matter. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the food for a little bit here. Oh, this is my favorite part. I can tell you that they're not eating tacos, though. You're right, they're eating bread and having a little bit of wine. Bread and wine? Why is that? Well, it symbolizes the breaking of the body of Christ and drinking his blood. It's kind of like communion, how we have it now. Oh, that makes sense. So if there's no food on the table, then who commissioned Leo to make this painting? Leo? Really? Yeah, Leo. We go way back. Oh, on yeah? our first name basis. Well, it so happens that we actually don't know who commissioned your pal Leo to paint this Last Supper. It was either a Dominican monk or Ludovico Sforza, but speculation does lean more towards Sforza being the one who commissioned Leonardo for this painting. Well, thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Cheyenne Massey. And I'm Julio Garcia. And remember, you stay classy, Anguin. Mm -hmm.